Hey, what's up folks? Jay Barino here. I'm playing some Legacy the Confederation, a custom campaign for StarCraft 1. We're heading right into Chapter 10 here. The last mission was quite fun. We saw some custom units. Those specters were really, really cool. A pretty long mission, but very unique as always. The triggering work is really impressive for StarCraft 1. Sergeant Drake, I must commend you. Thanks to you, Confed now controls Delta Contemus 4. Admiral Rechek was watching that one close. He sent me direct orders to promote your sorry ass. So congratulations, Lieutenant. And since you're in the officers' club now, I'll let you in on a little inside info. We lost contact with some advanced scouts while they were snapping photos of Chow Sala. Zerg? That was our first guess. The scouts did get some video through before they were blown apart. Get ready for this, Lieutenant. There's a human settlement on that planet. What? Confederation doesn't have any bases down there. Pirates, maybe? Normally, Lieutenant, I'd agree. But pirates are smarter than that. They avoid confed ships like a bowler. Now this is something else, and we want you to find out exactly what that something is before we turn the cities into pavement. This mission is classified, Lieutenant. You'll be going in with your best spec ops and webworks team. Get as much information as you can about these people. You're under strict orders not to fire on them unless they fire on you. We don't want to risk our facilities until we know who the hell we're dealing with. You'll drop in two hours, and do me a favor, send a video to your lady before you go in. It's my ass if you don't. Cool. Infiltrate unidentified human installation on Chowsara, I, I might want to add. Chowsara uh, notably being a colony of the Confederacy back at the very beginning of StarCraft 1, and then the Protoss come and incinerate it when it gets invaded by the Zerg. Now, I don't know how this relates to StarCraft 1. I don't know if Earth ever sent colony ships out to the Caprulu sector. At the very beginning, or I'm sorry, at the very end of Past Purposes, it had mentioned they sent colony ships out there, and then the Zerg attacked them. So I wonder if at some point this space was colonized by humans that were sent by maybe the UPL de uh, centuries ago, or maybe by the Confederation um, just a couple decades ago. I don't know. I hope this will get explained. Gather as much information on the humans there as possible. Planet Chowsara, entrance to unidentified human installation. Let's go ahead and turn the music off, actually. I'm going to assume there's going to be some custom music, and if we don't hear any, we'll, uh, we'll turn the default back on. Hmm. Door mechanism's coding is encrypted. All right, stand back, fellas. We're gonna blow it. Hey, you! Wait a minute, though. This is our Spec Ops Wetworks team? Like, eight Marines, and half of them are now dead? I mean, come on. So now we have Gerson, Drake, and four Marines. Think you fellas can make any more noise? I'm sure there's at least one or two people that haven't heard us yet. Now remember, these are humans, but they're not confed, so keep alert. Our goal is to find the operations center, so let's see if we can do it without alerting every security guard between here and the equator, okay? Oh! And then two of them are leaving. Is that supposed to happen? Maybe we're only <laughs> only meant to have two Marines. We're just supposed to have Drake and two Marines, I assume. Well, we want to be utilizing saves a lot, so I might as well... Go ahead and set one up in advance. You and we're just going to be real careful. So Drake, he does have 200 health. So who owns this facility? I wonder if it's uh, the Confederacy? I mean, I don't know where in the timeline this takes place. There may be some sort of media on the website that's supposed to explain this that I don't know of, or maybe I'm going to discover it later. Red key card required. Well, okay, so we, we are going to have to backtrack here. And let's just lead with Drake. He does have three armor, 18 damage, so he's in he's in pretty good shape. These two Marines are just going to be backing him up. But for the most part, I want to be leading with him exclusively. What are these? Whoa, security monitors are all over the place up here. Testing these things is easy, though. Men, stow your gear. This is going to take a bit of finesse. An invisible infrared beam passes between each pair of security monitors ahead. If anyone breaks that beam, it will alert the base to your presence. Due to power strange on the installation by other operations, the beams have to cycle. Meaning for every 10 seconds they're active, there is a window of 4 seconds they are inactive. Okay, so we just have to run through them at the intervals, I suppose. You'll notice a countdown timer will appear at the top of your screen. When it reaches zero, you'll see a slight delay before it restarts the countdown. That delay is your window. Time it so you pass between the security monitors during that time. Your goal is to get all of your men to the beacon at the other end. Again, as long as you don't see the countdown timer, the infrared beams are cycling and it's safe to proceed. It may be wise to save at this point, of course. Interesting. Now, I want to point out this may seem simplistic, and there's like a lot of emphasis on crossing these beams, but keep in mind, in the StarCraft 1 editor, something like this would be actually be very complex to make. Yeah. 
in my opinion. I mean, I'm not 100% sure, but I assume something like this would be pretty challenging. So let's run through the first one. Stop. The question is, where are we going to meet any enemies, or are we going to be pretty safe here? Oh, well, that seemed more like... What? What? Don't tell me we lose. Okay, no, he just got sent back. What What happened there? All right, well, let's just wait. Okay, we book it through, hold position. See, okay, that doesn't seem right. I waited for the I waited for the timer. Did my did my save like mess it up or something? I don't know. Let's let's inch up with this guy and get him through. Okay, it really doesn't like me getting through here. I'm gonna I'm gonna load my save. I feel like the triggering may be messed up at this point. But I'm not I'm not 100% sure. All right, I'm, I'm frozen now. There we go. Okay, so let's load up. That seemed a little strange, so let's try this again. Rang. And just try to clump these units up as much as possible. Units don't generally clump in StarCraft 1. They, uh... All right, ladies, move your butts. They generally don't clump in StarCraft 1. They run in straight lines. So if you start them clumped, they're not going to end up clumped remaining. All right, we should be safe right here. Okay, good. We didn't get... We didn't get noticed. All right, ladies, move your butt. I also want to point out that, um... Okay, there are enemies up here, too. One Just lead with Gerson. We'll keep these rifle, shock ready, troopers sir. alive because they'll, uh... They'll add some firepower, but they're very fragile. Rifle, ready, wing, ready, but I want, I want to point out that we didn't get noticed right away. Roll. We just, uh... All right, Gerson Drake, you're fine. I just... I'm, I'm holding position right now. I understand he's taking some... What?! He was not even close! I had him on hold position specifically for that. All right, my other Marines are on hold position. Now we have to get him back through. So let's make a run through two of them at least. But anyway, if you get caught, it doesn't uh, it doesn't end the mission in failure or anything like that, thankfully. Okay, we can run him through now, get him back in the front, hold position. Okay, we're fine. Let's wait for the timer we'll to cycle through one more time, and we'll run up to the next one. I don't feel comfortable going through two. I, I mean, yes. if there were no enemies, I'd, I'd feel comfortable with that. But there are enemies. So let's stop. Run okay, we lost one. Oh, really? You can't lose any? Okay, well, at least we get to see the, the defeat screen. Look at how heartbroken that guy is. Okay, that's good to know. I didn't realize we couldn't lose any member of our, of our team. That's, uh, that's interesting to know. We'll just start this really quick so we can load a save very quickly. Well, hey, at least we got to see that, so yes. let's just try to do this again, and I'm, I pretty much... Re I'm not stop moving, but I'm hold position moving, it, moving actually, well, so I'm, I'm moving, and then All I right, hit... Ladies, and then I hit H. We also want to bump this up. Right. Hold position. Okay, really? I was clearly beyond where that would, where that would hit. This is <laughs> slightly frustrating. Just a little frustrating. Let's see if we can make this happen now without setting off the alarms, or maybe it's too late. Okay, okay, we made it that time, no problem, no problem. Keep dra Drake in the front. Okay, and run up to the next one. Hold position. Back up a little bit. Okay, and then the next one is where an enemy is, so we do have to inch up a little bit. No, oh, why did I do that? Why did I do that? That's okay, we'll run up to the next one with Gerson Drake, and then we'll catch this guy up here in a moment. Hold position. Yes. Move up. Hold position. We should be good, and then we'll catch this guy up here in a moment. Gerson Drake should be... He's okay. I, they're on hold position. All right, run him through two of them. Don't get caught, please. Okay. These guys are almost more of a... They're more of a liability than anything else. They're at full health now. Again, we want Gerson Drake taking the damage. I assume this was designed to only be done with a, a small number of units. So, right, you move on up over here. He must not have the... He must not have the range upgrade, but Gerson Drake does. Okay, well, next step is to get this guy caught up. So let's go. Inch this guy up. Is this music from The Fugitive? It sounds like it's from The Fugitive. That movie is excellent, by the way, if you haven't seen it. Tommy Lee Jones, Harrison Ford, excellent music. I'm pretty sure that's what the music is from. All right, let's move up here. Hold position. Dr. Curtis, please report to operations. Dr. Curtis, please report to operations. This is very intriguing. I, I'm wondering who owns this facility and, again, where in, where in the chronology this is taking place with existing well, StarCraft I have a feeling it's going to be a long day. Men, let's go. It's going to be a long day, he yes. says. All right, to me, you know what that means? That means 
We're probably going to be splitting this episode, because look at how big this map is. It seems like it's going to be a series of mini-games, almost. So this is the blue keycard door, and then the red keycard door was all the way back here. So let's keep a lookout again, just constantly with Drake. Hopefully we get, like, a medic or some way to heal him. We have to lead with him, because we can't lose anybody. Hmm, I don't recognize that armor of yours. You must be that detail from Kohal. Man, I wasn't sure what to expect. <laughs> You people definitely aren't it. I had gunfire back in the holes. You guys okay? Uh, yeah. Wouldn't you know it, fresh out of the transport, we find intruders in your facility. Don't worry, though. We took care of them for you. We're trying to find operations. Can you help us? Tell you what. I've always wondered what you cohort types are made of. So here's the deal. You play me in the game of Iron Wars. You win. I will point you to the right direction. And what if we lose? <laughs> Operations is here somewhere. Good luck finding it. <laughs> Fine. What do we have to do? If you don't know an iron barrel from a hairbrush, head over to the white flag. It will give you instructions on how to play the game. When you're ready to play, head on over to the brown flag. I'll get you chaps hooked up. Good luck. <laughs> you will need it. <laughs> to learn about the game Ion Wars, move one of your men to the white flag. To play the game Ion Wars, move one of your men to the brown flag. Alright, well, let's learn how to play yes. first of all. Let's move on over here. Let's take Drake. Let's, let's learn how to play here, because I don't know what I'm doing. When the game begins, you're given control of a single Ion Warrior. You must kill all other Ion Warriors you, that you see on the battlefield while they try to kill you and each other. The goal is to beat the re Recreation Master's record. His highest score is 5, and you need to get at least a 6 before the timer runs out. Simple and fun. Brought to you by Mengsk Entertainment. That's a clue. So maybe we're in a StarCraft universe where Mengsk has already taken control of the sector. So this is like the Dominion. Maybe it's called something else. I don't know, but... You right. uh, let's, uh... I guess let's get started and see what this is. Wait, save. Again, it's another interesting mini game here. Game set for three minutes, four players, free for all. The game begins in five seconds. We only have five health, so we one shot the, the AI, I think? I suppose? So we just have to find them and murder them. I'm gonna use hold position movement. Oh, got one of them. I wonder what happens if I just stand here where they spawn. Can I just. Ah, got him! Got him! Oh, oh, I, why am I so good at Ion Warriors, guys? Okay, I got murdered there. See, very interesting how this works. Like, what what judges how fast you can kill someone. It seems like hitting hold position gives you some of the fastest reaction time. So it's not stop moving, but it's hold position moving. We have four out of six, and we have two minutes to do it. So my goal... I, you know what? I'm just going to spawn camp, because that seemed to work. Let's get this guy to spawn. Kill him. There we go. So if I stand here, nobody can see me. Oh, here comes purple. Get him! Oh, why? Does, does like, do the ranges differ on these, on these guys, or what? Oh, my word! I don't understand. The AI... Okay, now I'm getting spawn camped. The AI reaction time is a little too high. I didn't realize we'd be able to respawn. I was nervous. I'm like, if we get shot once, I'm going to be pissed. Oh, there we go. That's six. Okay, so we've won. Might as well keep playing. Seven. I wonder if there's, like, an Easter egg, depending on how many you kill. See, I, again, I'm not really sure in StarCraft 1 what determines your reaction time. See, he just murdered me. But I was the same distance away, so I'm not sure what determined him being able to kill me so quickly. I've just been farming on this orange player. I'm sorry, orange orange ghost. Maybe he's already respawned. He's just wandering around. 40 seconds, but again, we've already done it. See, how? I guess I didn't hit hold position fast enough. Okay, that was a case where I was just standing still. And he just wandered up and killed me, so... Again, StarCraft 1 is a little different with how unit reactions are. I'm not even hitting anything, I'm just spawning and they just walk up and kill me, by the way. There's no way, like, how am I supposed to react that fast? I think it's about how fast you can hit hold position when you see one of them. That case, I, I didn't even hit stop, I just hit hold position and expected I'd be able to kill that guy. There we go. In that case, I was moving towards him and hit hold position and I reacted instantly. Congratulations, you've beaten the all-time record for Ion Wars. You are the new Grand Champion. Hell yeah! Ten kills?! What are you going to do, Recreation Master? we got some victory music. Okay, well, they still got murdered. Damn, I don't believe it. You beat my record, you bloody son of a bitch. You were expecting to win? Now then, you were saying something about operations. Right, right, fine. At the other end of this hall is a door. 
I will take you in the right direction. You will need this keycard, though. And tell Stuart I said hi. Alright, we retrieved the blue keycard. So that's... That's the door over to the left that we passed. Ready Let me just double check. He doesn't right, mean baby, through here. Alright, that's just where Ion Wars was. So let's go ahead and save. Very interesting little I'm mini game. Again, in StarCraft 1, the triggering is... It's quite interesting, so it's it's hard to imagine how to come up with unique mini games that are that you can actually make in StarCraft One. Used special item blue key card. This is kind of cool. It's like a semi fetch quest with with uh, mini games in StarCraft One. That's so interesting. Okay, Med Lab. There's no way we're gonna blast our way through that. Hmm. Let's see. Aha. Well, since the troops we've encountered so far have the combined IQ of a cucumber, we can probably get them past them pretty easy if we play doctor. Let's do it, fellas. Move your men to the white physician uniforms hanging on the wall and steal them. Once all your men are in disguise, proceed towards the med the med lab guard. Okay. Oh, and, and Drake got all of his health back, too. That's great. Pick him up. Okay. Last one. Time to rock and roll. All right, Drake, come on. Move your butt. On my way. Come on, Drake. You rang. Drake, I need you on in the last suit. Way. Don't I fuck with me, Drake. Roll. There we go. Okay. And the there we go. Okay, I was nervous. Again, the triggering is there's sometimes like well, slight lag time. Ready? All right, let's see if those guards are as dumb as we look. Bypass med lab guards and continue in your goal to locate operations. Yep. So just given how much of the lab we've uncovered. I'm thinking we're going to be utilizing saves and probably going to be splitting this video. Let's go ahead and throw down a save now. I'm, I'm using a lot of saves because this can go wrong at any moment. We're technically invulnerable, so we might as well get going. And again, we do get healed between sections, which is pretty important. Attention med lab personnel. We've had a reactor leak in hydroponics. Multiple wounded. Dispatch emergency aid before they bleed to death, will ya? Sounds pretty bad. Hey, you three, you don't look like you're doing anything important. Why don't you hightail it over to hydroponics and give them a hand? Sure, why not? Where's hydroponics again? Man, what a bunch of retards. <laughs> People on this station really need to grow a brain. Alright, just go through the door and behind me and follow the wall. I can speak slower if that's too hard for y'all to understand. Yep, that's us regular station degenerates. Now, if you don't mind, we have some people to save. You have <laughs> legs. Get moving. Uh, you need to lower the door first? Uh... <laughs> oops. So I think the Marines saying, uh, heh heh, oops, is a callback to the Brood War mission with the UED infiltration. Proceed through the corridors to hydroponics. Gerson Drake must survive. There's nothing over here. But when you kill the civilian, when you're hunting down Stukov, and the Marine says, uh, heh heh, oops. I might be wrong there, it might have just been a coincidence. Um, this is very interesting, and again, I'm curious to know... Again, we're on Chaosara, which was obliterated by the Protoss in original canon, but maybe not in this case. Maybe not in this canon. Things are just different. I don't know what this flag is. Out of you are a series of doors due to power strains by various station operations. Each computer console only has sufficient power to open one or two doors. You need to use the consoles to move all three of your men to the last room, the one with the beacon. Hydroponics is just on the other side of that room's door. Note, it's hard to predict which consoles will open which doors, so be sure to experiment. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. I predict some cutting in my future as I show how stupid I am as I figure this out. Unless it's something as straightforward as, like, the Towers of Hanoi or something, I can do that, but... Okay, so this opens this one. So let's walk... Nope, okay. Uh, open me up, buddy. Okay, please open up. Do we need multiple people on one? Maybe Drake doesn't count as, as being able to hold open a door, I suspect. Okay, so now this medic won't be able to get through here. So this medic... Actually, just just for my own amusement, let's check this. Okay, Drake can open doors. So now we move one through here. I mean, this was the only way to do this, I'm pretty sure. So this door's still open. We gotta explore around. We are invulnerable, so I don't have to be that. I don't have to be slow. Let's see what door this opens. This is just a reminder. Oh, okay. This evening's volleyball competition has been postponed due to the disappearance of the net. 
If anyone has knowledge of the Hertz whereabouts, please meet with Director Stewart in operations as soon as possible. Thank you. They're saying that the volleyball net is missing, really? Okay, so these two open these. Oh, okay. I, I don't know if that was supposed to happen there, but it, it did. This door is open for good. That door is closed. So now we have all three through here. I don't know if I glitched my way through or not, but let's pop this door open. You guys move on in. And my question is, can we can we book it in? Okay, no, it's just. Let's try not. Let's try to do this as intended. This one should open. I assume the next one. Get on up there, Drake. What does that open? Or maybe that opens a door back there? State the nature of your medical emergency. Oh, okay, see, we got in again. Though I'm attention? concerned I may be stuck I'm now. On on my way. Again, I sort of broke it. I suspect maybe this one opened back here. Yeah, you know what? I blew it. I'm pretty sure that I needed to get one medic into the Did first one. So let's open the first door. Okay, get State move our first two through. Emergency. You guys open this door. And move in. Right away. I'm on the job. And here's what I'm thinking. Mo you move away. You? That's going to close this door. But Need I suspect that attention. this flag also opens. Yeah. It opens this door and the first one. Let's check. This is just a reminder to all station personnel. This evening's hurt? volleyball competition has been postponed due to the disappearance of the I'm net. The if anyone has Stop. knowledge of the net's right whereabouts, please meet with Director, Director Stewart in operations as soon as possible. I don't know why I let that play through, but um, because we already heard it. But okay, so this opens both of these. We still need to open that front Did one, though. So let's move through this door. Stop. I think this flag is going to open the back door again. Right if we can away. get on top of it. It does not. But this flag... Ah, opens this one up here. I don't know what opens this one, though. That must be a different one, so... This door still stays closed. This door is still open because we need to get someone through here. Um, just out of curiosity, you move away. Does this open the one behind us? I don't think so. It does not. Okay, so let's, let's proceed with this medic. Let's see what door this opens. This is very interesting, by the way. All right, that opens back there, and the front one. No, never mind. The front one remains closed. Okay, so that opens. I thought open the back one there. Get get closer to it. Come on, medic. There we go. So that opens here, so now we can get two through. Do we want to have two through? I suspect we need this flag for something. So move up to this flag. What? And this, I assume, is going to open this door. It does. Okay, and then this flag opens maybe this back one again? It does open. Nope, it doesn't. What opens this back door? Okay, we need to open this one. So I'm thinking we need to backtrack, but we're stuck back here. There has to be another flag that opens that door, and I don't know what it is. This opens that one. So what does this one open? Oh, back there. Oh, that that allowed us to backtrack. So now we can hit this flag. Uh, let me double check here. Okay, so this one. Which one? Which which door did that? Oh, oh, I see. Maybe this opens all the doors, or maybe this opens all the doors. We have to get all our men to this beacon. So let's hit this. And, oh good, okay, so that lets this one through. And now we have to get all the way back. So I think we're going to have to backtrack now. So let's go here, and what does this do? Let's see. So what does this one do? But, but really, what does this one do? I don't remember. It's got to be... Let's try this again. That opens back there. I th I really thought that this one were probably just not close enough to it. Get on top of it, medic. Come on. There we go. Opens here. So we need to backtrack and get our other medic through. This is kind of like Towers of Hanoi. It's just real interesting. I haven't done that bad. All right, I'll pop this one open. And I forget what that opens. 
But we have to backtrack now. Okay, so hit here. Come on, hit that one. All right, so this lets this medic through. So now we can leapfrog our previous ones out, I think. Because this opens both. Yeah, so now we have two through. We'll be able to get three through very shortly. Right, so walk over here. This is keeping this door open, so we should be able to walk back through here. Okay, so you can leave this one. You hit this flag. And that should open the one in front of my forward medic. So we come on over here and we open this door. We walk through with both of these. I think. Okay, hit this one. Come on now. Hit this one. This flag, please. Please get on top of it. There we go. That opens over back here, which we don't need. We don't need a medic here either, though. Okay, so we have one through. I'm trying to remember... Okay, oh, that's it. That should be it. This must op This must keep all of these open, I suspect. And it opens the very first door, too. Perfect, we got all three through. That wasn't that bad. That wasn't too bad. It was interesting. You have to really experiment. Again, it's a very interesting minigame. It kind of keeps you guessing a little bit. I did just save. People dying all over the place in here. Well, maybe if you had channeled more power to the doors back there, we could have gotten here sooner. Fine, whatever. Come with me while there's still some of us alive. I was gonna say the same thing. You should have fixed your damn doors first, you asshole. Okay, we're still invulnerable, which is fine, and I assume. Oh, lordy. Do we have anybody to heal? We're not medics, and we're looking for operations. Stand aside. I'd rather not kill you if we can avoid it. Okay, we're back at it. Took a little damage. Then tell me what I want to know. Where's operation? Hmm, next room. It figures. Alright, what's the code to open his door? Yellow key card. Which I assume opens the door Thanks. right next to us. Get the hell out of here before I change my mind. Ready for you left him alive. This guy doesn't want to leave. All right. So did all these blow up? Country. Is there anything else over here? Time Figure you might as well roll. check. So all we're going right, through this door next. Life. Bump up the game speed if it wasn't yes. already. I don't know. It felt kind of slow there for a second. Code accepted. All right, Gerson. This is all you, buddy. Follow up with the Marines behind. And go in. Hold position. Oh, all right. These guys are invulnerable. Yes. So this is operations. Why aren't these guys attacking us? I'm a little concerned, actually. Let's move in with my normal Marines and get them in the back so where they won't take damage. Power generator. Very good. Let's see what we can see. Security cameras activated. Reactor core located in sector four. Okay. What the hell is going on? Why did I just hear gunfire and hydroponics? Uh, just a routine weapons check? What? Who are you people? Ah, you've got to be the reinforcements the minion command was telling me about. Fresh meat for the grinder. Alright, listen up then. General Duke's visiting here in about two hours for an inspection. So you better look sharp. Jensen, give these boys a refresher. I'm not taking any chances. Outstanding. All right, it is the Dominion, and we're gonna see General Duke, Ready which is pretty cool. Yes. What's with the music? They're a parade or something? Shut up, skinkweed! General Duke will be here in about two hours, so listen up. Some zerg are gonna pop up out of the floor on the other side of that pit. You need to shoot them. Wait, wait, wait a minute. You're keeping zerg here? Shut your hole! Every one of those Twitters you see. Any questions? Nope, no questions. I'll be happy to take care of them. Okay, wait. Kill all the green Zerg that pop up on the other side of the pit. Don't kill the brown Zerg, it will reset your score. You need a score of 40 points. You need to use the attack button. Gerson Drake must survive. So only green Zerg. Yes. Can I can I hit them from over here? Yes, I can. Oh, interesting. It's like a it's like whack-a-mole almost. Come on down here. We've only hit two. I, 
th I think this is doable. I don't need to use stim pack or anything. This is one of the most interesting mechanics I've ever seen, but pathing does prove to be an issue as usual. Get over there, buddy. You have to move directly across from them. And then hit them. Don't hit any of the brown zerg. Okay. Oh, it's a hydralisk. Give me, give me more score for this. Did it give us more score? Maybe. Yeah, it gave us two. Get over there. Did it say we need to score 40? Because that's not going to happen. Maybe we need to really. Maybe we do need to use stim pack. I didn't want to use stim pack. If I have to do this again, I will. Get over there. I mean, it's kind of silly, but it's kind of neat. Okay, and I will, again, I'll use stim pack if necessary. In fact, yeah, let's use stim pack. I think stim pack is necessary. All right, move over here. This is weird. <laughs> Okay, get on over here. I think I needed to use stim pack from the get-go. Was it 40 points? Because we have 20. And I think maybe I just misread. 40 zerg in two minutes. Okay, yeah, we need to use stim pack again. Listen up. Coral or not, we're gonna drill you through this until you wish you were dead. And then still keep going. Cause if you don't, you know I won't let you die. Attention all station personnel. Your attention please. General Chief of the Dominion Armada has arrived. Oh, that's just beautiful. Duke got here ahead of schedule. Okay, skink. Are we doing it again? Yes. It's an honor to have you with us on Chop Cell. We prepared the equipment for this trip as you requested. Only our finest will be performed. May I present uh, one ground pounder equipped with M1L1 triple pump assault rifle ready? That wait, would sir. be Lieutenant Drake, sir. Yes, Lieutenant Drake. That's it. General, sir, the lieutenant will convince you that our security force not only meets your expectations, but as much, they outclass even the elite guard on board. I haven't got all day. No god. Oh, so 30 points. We got to 22. I'll just use stim pack more. Let's save. Okay, and then stim, and then get, and then we got to do this again. Get over here. Attack. This is crazy. Oh, okay. So the original, the practice round was a little harder. I want to point out uh, we we um, we don't have to shoot directly across from us. The gap is a little shorter, so that's good for us. Keep stimming. I I think stim pack is the only way. Get over there. Keep running back and forth. Of course, they spawn in like really inopportune spots. I'm running back and forth. No, get over there. There we go. Uh, stim. No, attack. Okay. Going okay, and the hydralisks give us two points. I think it'd be funny if we fail. If it, like you fail, if you if you don't do this correctly, can move on down here. Stim again. Hit the nope. Didn't get the hydralisk. Forty-eight seconds. Uh, I'm not on track to do this. We need more hydralisks to spawn. Basically, move over here. Doing okay, I think. Zerglings. Stim again. All right, zerglings. No, nope, move down there. You have to move first. Oh my god, that the path. No! No, don't go up there, you idiot! Oh my god. Ready for action. Should I reload? I mean, I think we actually have to complete this. I think we actually have to do it, I assume. All right, attack. And stim, attack. Again, the practice round you could fail, and I think you were meant to fail. But in this case, you you can't. All right, make sure to let your guy move all the way to the end where he needs to be first. Stim again. Attack, attack. And the the pathing just makes this horribly, horribly challenging. All right, hydralisk, attack. No, attack the hydralisk. Okay, stim, attack. This is harder than it seems, just because again the pathing is absurd. All right, move on up here. Attack the Hydralisk. Nope, despawn. I really needed that Hydralisk, actually. I'm just going to let him go. All right, hit the Hydralisk. Come on down here. Zergling. Zergling. The...
counter has capped out. I can't actually see my score. I may have actually been on track to win last time. It's stuck on 15 now. We only needed 15, or um, 30. So I don't know what to do about that. All right, stop. And this is truly a test of StarCraft pathing metal. All right, attack. Nope. Move all the way to the end. There you go. Stim up, and maybe that was enough. I don't think anyone fed him in the last few days. And did you see that rifle, sir? I assure you that this is not common. You think you're real funny, don't you, skank weeds? We'll see how much you like working the cargo docks for the next year or two. See that tank over there? I want you three slews to fix it. Fix the tanks next to your SUVs. Okay, so I was supposed to lose. It capped out at 15, and it wasn't a bug. Again, that was another thing. Like, I restarted. I played that twice, but I didn't have to. Oh, it blew up. You're not supposed to cut open the fuel tanks? Um, I think I broke this scalpel thing. Then you haul your lazy ass up those stairs and find another one, skankweed! Proceed up the stairs and find a replacement fusion cutter for your SCV. This is so weird, but so interesting. It's very, it's a very unique mission. And again, for StarCraft 1, I feel like this is what the prologue of Past Purposes was trying to be, and this, this mission really captures it. All right, well, we got to find another fusion cutter. I'm not timed or anything, so I'm not in a rush. But yeah, the, uh, the counter was timed. You're, you were supposed to lose in both instances. It's possible I did get 30 points, but if the counter wasn't fucked up... But, uh, who knows? Quarantine lab laboratory. Oh, man. What the hell are these people doing? Keeping Zerg captive and studying them? It's like Earth 2097 all over again. That's it. I can't putz around this place anymore. Gotta get word back to Excalibur. Ah, that'll work. The red flag represents the manual release terminal. Figure out a way to lure those scientists away from it. Then go to the terminal and release the Zerg from containment. Flee back to the hangar afterwards. Use the, con use the commotion to cover your activities. Oh, jeez. So maybe we have to release the Zerg in some way? Okay, that does not open it. So we have to get the, the, the civilians away. Is there anything over here? No, so we need to find something. Can we attack? I thought I was going to say, our fusion cutters are not useful. Let's head down here. And as soon as we find whatever we're looking for, I'll save. We've been recording for about a half hour now, so I will keep going. Maybe through this door. This is where we never ended up going originally. I would love to get some health back. I guess we can't go through here yet. So we need to cause commotion. Let's come on down here then. I mean, we never got our fusion cutter, but let's come down here and see if we can find something down in the cargo bay. Perhaps? I really have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just making this up. This tank looks suspicious. Can we go up here? All right, these Marines are blocking us. Okay, maybe not. Maybe we do have to go back. We can't attack anything. We need to find something to cause commotion. Maybe destroying something in the in the cargo bay. All these guys are invulnerable. <laughs> are invulnerable. We only have six HP. We definitely can't go through here, right? No. Okay, let's check down here again. This is where the Zerg were. That's where the scientists were. Right away, sir. I hope I'm not missing something. I mean, I'm obviously missing something, but I don't know what. Right away, sir. There's got to be something to do with the Zerg. Or just... We can't move these people. What, maybe one of these has HP or something? And we have to, like, attack him? Danger. The emergency right system right is now activated. Hey. Oh, okay. Right so that apparently was a, uh, a trigger of some kind. Now we can hit this. And now we have to get out of here. Run back to the hangar. You must survive. Please save immediately. Well, one of my SCVs is trapped. One of my SCVs is trapped. You've got to be fucking kidding me. Oh, God. I just saved. Oh, that's so bad. Okay. Get, get past these. 
Get back to the hangar. Your forces are under attack. I, oh, he got path blocked behind those civilians! What am I supposed to do? Oh, that's bad, too, because I just saved on top of that. All right, load this up. What's going to happen? Oh, fuck me. Kill him. Yes, yes, kill the civilians. This is this is all we, we have to. All right, run. Bump up the game speed. And run, run. They're going to attack the Marines first before they attack me. All right, we got my SCVs through. Just run. Just run. SCVs, please. Oh, the pathing. You, you, I know that the map maker purposefully made the pathing shitty in this section. He exploited the bad pathing to make this incredibly challenging. We're in the hangar. I had to kill a civilian to get out. I assume we want to be getting inside these things? I'm in the hangar. All right, fellas. We need to find a communications room in this place and get the word out about what these people are doing here. See those Goliaths? Suit up. The tank over there is mine, so hands off. Okay. So get inside so that we're not immediately in danger. Get in a Goliath. Get in a Goliath. Get inside a tank. Yeah, we let them out. Locate station communications room. Inform CFS Excalibur of Dominion transgressions. Absolutely. I want this station locked down. Now. No one goes Bro in the Non-security people. Get your buttons in here. Get your quarters. Automated defense systems. Are now online. Too, sir. All security personnel. Bro are your posts in full battle armor two Absolutely. minutes ago. Move it, people. Going online. Okay, we gotta shimmy our units up these stairs. This was kind of an oversight, I think. You can't fit large units upstairs. I mean, you can, but it's horribly hard. So I don't know if we're gonna be able to get a tank up these stairs. Let's try. Come on. Oh, I know you can make it, buddy. I know you can make it. There we go. Okay. <laughs> that sucks, but there's no other way to go upstairs. Maybe they, Maybe I think a siege tank was just not something we should have been given control of here. So let's save here. Pop through this door. And I probably should just be leading with the tank. So I'm assuming we want to go this way. And there's just random Zerg around. So let's inch through. In fact, I'm going to save because we made it up those stairs. Did I just save? I don't know. I'm just saving very, very frequently. So we're looking for a comm room. And there's automated defenses. Let's just avoid those Zerg. Let them run that way. And I'll just pop over here and see what's in this direction. Unless this is a dead end. Okay, lead with the tank. The tank can take a few more hits and it's got three armor. Actually, everything's got three armor. Everything's got as much armor as I would have expected. That certainly looks like a comm room. Can we walk in here? There's Zerg in here. Communication center. Well, guess this is it. Looks like they spared every expense. This equipment is fucking old. Uh, let's see if it still works. This definitely feels like we are the UED, but we're not. This is why the this is why the timeline has changed. But I think everything that happened in StarCraft One has still occurred. I'm the artificial intelligence who will be assisting you. Great, I need some help. Yes? What is it? Yeah, right. You sound like my wife. I need to open a channel on frequency 402 megahertz. Very well. I'll see what I can do. This is Furlong. Drake, how are you doing down there? We were just about to send a rescue party. No need for that, sir. We're fine. This place crawls, though, Captain. These people, whoever they are, got Zerg in containment. They're studying them from the looks of it. There's a lot of civvies down here, sir, requesting instructions. The Zerg Insinuation Directive doesn't leave us much choice, Lieutenant. If the people in there have been exposed to the Zerg, they must be terminated. Sir, these people aren't even confed. They don't know about our laws, not to mention there's families here. Lieutenant, I, think... I sympathize, but I don't have time to debate this issue. Consider it a direct order. Take out the installation. All of it. Are you understanding me? Yes, sir. Drake out. This is bullshit. Me and Admiral Raychek are going to have a nice little talk once we get back. Orders are orders. Let's get this job over with, guys. So we're starting a war with the Dominion. All right. New mission objective. We got the green key card. Find the teleportation control room. Warp into space station reactor. I didn't see what that said, but let's check. Set charges in the primary power couplings. And then I'm assuming we have to escape! There's always escape. Alright, this would be a good time to cut the video, but honestly, I feel like we're near the end again, so we might just shoot for another hour-long video. I'm serious about cutting the videos, I swear, but I guess just not... Not right now. <laughs> um, 
if we ever get to over like an hour and a half, then expect them to get cut. But since we're hovering so close to an hour, it's just not, not a good time. So again, we're starting a war with the Dominion. We are not the UED, so we're not here with explicit instructions to capture the Overmind or anything like that. We don't know about the Overmind technically, as far as I know. These automated defenses are slightly annoying, but we can kill them pretty quick, sometimes before they even get a shot off. I assume I'm going the right way. More of them. Okay, I think I just got lucky going this way, because this is the green key card, and this might open up something else. Reactor core warp controls. Okay. Warp us in. Warp us in, Scotty. Okay, guess these are the warp controls. And what a freaking surprise. They're not automated. Which means one of us has to stay here and push the buttons. I'll go alone. One of you be ready to bring me back if I signal you. The other watch the door. Let's get to it. Move one of your goliaths to the warp controls. Move Lieutenant Drake to the warp pad. What I'm slightly concerned about is, like, consider if you were playing through this and, and Drake just had no health left. Then you'd be fucked. All right, you guys hold position, and then let's take Drake through. Use the yellow pads to reach the power core in the center of the reactor room. Once you, once they're set explosive charges, Drake must survive. So... Oh, lordy. It's a puzzle. Oh, lord. It's a puzzle. Okay, so left takes us here, which left pretty much takes us exclusively here. Let's go... Well, what? Can we go back? We cannot go backwards, so let's go left first. It's a puzzle. And that takes us back, so let's let's just narrow it down by by elimination here. So not left. So that takes us here now. So let's go up. Up takes us back. So we're gonna go back and we're gonna go down instead. So then here. And then right. And then down. Okay. And then their only, our only option is here. And then that takes us back here, which I believe is just a circle. Yeah, that's just a circle. So let's go, let's go down instead. Okay, here. So down is not an option. And then again, theoretically right. And then down. And then here, which is gonna take us back right there. So let's just go back to the beginning. Oh, that took us somewhere else. That took us somewhere else. This must have been separate than what I originally thought. Okay, so let's go down here. And then the only option is right here. I think I'm on the right track. Okay, so let's go... Let's go down. I think I can recreate this if necessary. That did not work. Um, just out of curiosity, I'm gonna hit this button. Okay, it takes me to the same place. And then right. Okay, and then down. And then down. And then this is where I thought it was a repeat, but apparently we go left and it takes us here, and then it's gonna take us to the hallway, right? Or this is gonna take us to the hallway. And we have to go up. Down to, just warps us back to the room. Which warps me up here. Okay, let's go up then. Aha! Okay, well that seemed to work. I suppose there was no way to get to that beacon. Charge is set. Bring me back. Because we did, we had to go around. Alrighty, we warped him back. We would have hit Unless the other beacons on our way around. People, let's haul ass out of here. Find the warp leading back to the installation entrance. You'll need the red key card to explore the restricted area near there. Zerg killed a technician in these halls, and the key card is among her belongings. You need to find it. Okay. Alrighty, well, we're, I think we're at a solid 45 minutes here, but I don't think there's 45 minutes left of this, uh, of this mission, and now I'm just really intrigued and want to finish it. So let's do it. One video, ho! Let's just do it. So, dead technician somewhere in the halls. I'm assuming back here again. I've gotten really lucky with the directions I've chosen to take. I'm actually really surprised, because I really would have expected myself to have, uh, taken some damage by now. That was some stupid damage that I didn't need to take. Okay, so inch on up. And I would have expected me to go the, at least the wrong way one time. Kill those Zerglings. And that sh it wasn't up there. One thing I want to point it out is there was, um... Like, to get those civilians away way back when we were, um... Trying to lure them away to... Do something. I forget what we were doing. But whatever we were doing, um, we... 
trying to find her. I think the Zerg just spawn infinitely, and then we just have to search all these dead ends. But what I was saying is, um, there was an invisible beacon to use a terminal, which is what set off the alarm to move the civilians, which is interesting. All right, this is clearly supposed to be a tr like a, a maze, while the Zerg just spawn infinitely. So let's keep going. Maybe what I could do is reload once I figure out the right way, if we end up losing too much health. This is clearly a maze, though. Very interesting. Very interesting. Let's go this way. My luck has not held up yet. I mean, we were, so, we were doing so well going the right way earlier, but now, unfortunately, no. I'm concerned, may, I mean, maybe there's an invisible beacon somewhere. All right, more, more of these. Got to cycle out our weak units. Let's swing down and go this way instead. And then there's always back here we want to check down. Those look like dead ends. I doubt that's it. So let's go right. I think we've gone every way except the correct way. Okay. Annoying floor traps. I can only assume there's going to be more. Let's go straight. Yeah, this is all, this is all just a maze. Okay, nothing. Again, I'm concerned that maybe there's an invisible beacon where it's like, you found a dead body because there's no dead body animation. I, I don't think, so... I don't know. Um, I'm just following where the floor traps are. That seems like the right way to go. This seems right. I bet it's in here. I bet it's in here. There wouldn't be floor traps here. If not, this looks like it. Get on there. You need to find... Oh, goddammit. You need to find the red key card first. I've looked all through these halls. I will backtrack if necessary. The Zerg haven't seemed to find have found me yet. Let's check up here. Is it going to be a dead end? I wouldn't be surprised. We're losing a lot of health here. Okay, I hope it's not backwards. I hope it's I hope it's somewhere close to there. It is. Okay, pick this bad boy up. There we go. Now we have to backtrack to the beacon. Picking that up may have spawned a bunch of enemies to spawn or something like that. So, gotta be vigilant. But let's just walk our way back to the beacon. Again, very very novel concepts for StarCraft 1. Triggering this kind of stuff is is way more complex than it seems in StarCraft 1. There were a lot of limitations in the editor. So again, this is very impressive and fun. It's very fun. Um, okay, wait, Drake. There we go. Uh, do we have to kill these fellows? He just seems stuck. Um, this... Wasn't this the red key card? Yeah, this was the red key card because there's the... There's the security monitors just up here. So this is the direction we have to go. Lead with Drake. Restricted area. We've made it. We're in the last section. Very cool. All right, what are we going to find, though? And we have to actually kill. We have to kill all the Marines and such. Unfortunately, we can't one-shot the Marines like when we broke out of prison in the prologue of Past Purposes. You remember, our tanks then could one-shot these Marines. All right, let's roll on in here. Do we, we do have to kill everyone, don't we? These are still neutral. Bioengineering analysis. Let's check these out. What do we have here? All right, everybody, listen up. You have exactly 15 seconds to clear out of here before I start exploding heads. Any questions? And they all leave. I'll get out of their way because I don't want to have to kill them. Can I check these computers? Let's see what skeletons these bastards have in their closet. Bring Drake to the mark consoles. That's for sure. Looks like they're trying to engineer some kind of weapon. Absolutely. Okay. Drake. I can't tell if he's been to this one yet or not. Absolutely. Maybe not. As he said, in this room, there must be more. It's almost like the Dominion is doing what the Confederacy was doing at the beginning of Rebel Yell in, in the original StarCraft. What the? Gene splicing? Are these people nuts? Destination. Okay, gene splicing. So that's two out of three. We must not have hit one of these. Come on, buddy. I feel like we still haven't hit this one, technically. There we go. You have any idea what you've done? If you think I'm gonna let you make a new strain of those monsters, you got another thing coming. To serve. Found special item gold key card on terminal. So yeah, I feel like this is exactly what the Confederacy was doing, and then Menx found out, and uh, that's what he used to get Rainer to join the Sons of Core Hall. Um, there's nothing up here. We want to keep going. I would love to get a heal at some point here. It's a little dangerous. That's the gold key card, and that's just to stop you from progressing. It's, it's not necessarily like a maze, like Metroid or anything, with backtracking. It's just to make sure you don't progress. There's Zerg in these cages. Bioengineering. Apparently, we want to kill this civil technician. What the hell is this? Experimenting on humans, too, are we? Oh, man, that's it. This place is going up. Any doubt I had about it before is gone. Man, let's go. 
Find new Zerg specimens being bred by the Dominion. Destroy specimens after you pull bioengineering data from Dominion computers. Interesting. Um, the defilers seem new, that's for sure. You have to kill everything. I feel like this, the defiler, is probably the new strain, but I don't know. Uh, have we seen any defilers yet? I don't think we've seen any. Maybe these civilians can tell us what's up. Okay, civilians. At least we're letting the civilians go. We're not huge assholes. Okay, we're in the synthesis lab. Oh, lordy. Okay, that thing did a lot of damage to me. Containment cells is, uh... It's, uh... Harrowing. By the way, that's not me hitting my mic boom or anything. That's actually the in-game music. The boom boom. Okay, I don't think we want to be blowing these up. It might just, that might just, maybe we do want to be blowing them up. Uh, actually, no, here's the computer. So let's move on up. I have a feeling they're going to blow up, though. Let's save before we go on top of it. The pathing in this mission has been very challenging. Accessing data files. Now downloading SDC ROM. Zerg genealogical analysis, Zerg Zerg gene splicing, Zerg human gene splicing data. Interesting. Specimen designation lurker. Specimen combat test results. Specimen distribution reports. Korhal Marsara. Dominion historical archives. Dominion grid references. Dominion da data net. Okay. Downloads complete. You have requested to destruct containment cells. Is this an emergency situation? Affirmative. Initiating containment cells destruction sequence. Ah, there were lurkers in there. Huh. Okay, this is real cool. I mean, it's an alternative explanation on where lurkers ended up coming from. But the Dominion is creating new Zerg. I don't know why. But again, it's just like what the Confederacy was doing in the original StarCraft timeline before things went off the rails with the UPL being destroyed and never reforming into... into the UED. With the Dominion's research data in hand, Drake and his squad evacuated the Chausarin installation and detonated the charges on the reactor core. The destruction of the Dominion's primary research facility sent ripples, th ripples through the Empire, with the news falling upon the ears of Emperor Menx I, Dominion despot within 24 hours. Though unaware of the Confederation's presence at this time, Menx feared one of his other rivals, the Kalmorian Combine, had launched an invasion and thus dispatched a large expeditionary force to Chausara to investigate. The Dominion Armada will come upon the Confederation fleets within 48 hours. Damn. It's, this is like a retelling of Brood War. It's because the UED is not the UED. The UED is now the Confederation, and the UED came with a specific purpose in mind. We came because one of our transport ships became derelict and attacked by Zerg, and we're like, oh, Zerg, get him! And we sent an entire fleet out to track down the Zerg near the Caprulu sector, and now we've come across the Dominion. Why the Dominion is here, I'm not, I don't know, because I thought that the transport ships that sent humans way out there uh, was supposed to happen... Well, it was technically around this time, but I thought more years had to happen before the Confederacy was actually built up. Because wasn't there, like, the Guild Wars and things like that? Uh, it's, this is all from, like, the StarCraft manual. I'll have to read up on it. I'm sure my commenters are much more informed than me. This wasn't as long as I thought. 48 minutes, still a little lengthy, but that was really cool. It was engaging the whole time. All sorts of interesting triggers. Um, the only thing that I was a little confused about was that shooting range. I really thought that you actually could win. Um, it's, it's hard because in StarCraft 1 with an older game when the triggers... I've had triggers fail on other maps before where it's like, am I, am I supposed to lose? Because the counter is stuck at 15. So either it's bugged, which is a possibility, a completely logical, reasonable possibility for StarCraft 1, or it was purposely meant to be stuck at 15 so that you couldn't so that you couldn't get up to 30, and that way you end up in the hangar as an SCV and you have to repair the tank. So that was supposed to happen, but it's hard to tell in old maps like this on what is meant to happen and what's not, because you have to just trust that the map is working as it was intended. Alrighty, well this has been Jay Barino. This mission was real cool, and I really, really like the direction that this is taking now, where we're starting to get involved with the original StarCraft lore a lot more, which is awesome. Keep in mind, this is around the time the Zerg have invaded Iyer, so Iyer's gone. We were, we were told that at the end of Mission 7 in Past Purposes, where it, around this time, 250 some years later from that mission, which is now, the Zerg invaded Iyer. So I think that the StarCraft 1 canon has happened. My only question is, how did humans get here in the first place? Because the transport ships that were taking people here were never launched because the UPL was destroyed before that happened. I think, maybe, I'm not sure. I think I may be misinformed. Either way, they're here now, and we're getting involved in StarCraft 1.
original plot, and we're just going to fuck around with it, which is fantastic. Again, I feel like this is like a retelling of the UED in Brood War, but from a completely different perspective, which is so cool. Alrighty, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye now.